South Korea's shipbuilding industry suffered tremendous losses as of late. It's an arduous uphill climb to reclaim former glory, which is why President Moon Jae-in and government officials made a trip to a construction site of a new vessel that's looked to provide some boost to the sector. Hwang Woo-jun has more from the visit to provide much-needed encouragement to local shipbuilders. It was his first visit to an industrial site this year. On Wednesday, President Moon Jae-in went to the shipyard of the Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Company, located on the southeastern island of Gojedo. He inspected an ice-breaking LNG tanker under construction, and then the president offered some encouragement to the workers there, who are toughing out the shipbuilding industry's worst ever recession due to a drop in global orders. President Moon delivered the speech on the deck of the new tanker, called the Vladimir Rusinov after a Russian adventurer, which is slated to set sail on Thursday for a month-long sea trial. The South Korean president pledged to provide the shipping industry with the government's full support to overcome the slump by helping local shipyards secure more orders for LNG carriers and by increasing the government's own orders for ships for public use. He said the government will pursue measures that will reinforce the shipbuilding industry's competitiveness by supporting the development and implementation of environmentally friendly self-driving technologies, which, according to the president, will become new growth engines. President Moon called for special measures for innovative growth of the shipbuilding industry before the end of the first quarter. According to a Blue House official, the state-of-the-art LNG tanker will play a significant role in trade and commerce on shipping routes in the Arctic, which will eventually advance President Moon's new northern policy of expanding Seoul's diplomatic horizon with Eurasian nations. Hwang Arirang News.